I think he's beginning to, I think he's kept his distance from, now I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit suspect around uh, the, the energies around um, Emma and Ed. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, of her long, he uh, heavy makeup and, and her, her eye, eye, uh, thick eyelashes. Um, I do get an energy around uh, Marsh Farm and uh, Emma and her partner. Um, there's some psychosis there. This is just what I'm picking up energy-wise. I not. I think with Paul, he got involved with something here that he shouldn't have got involved with. I don't feel it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, terminating, uh, terminating anybody's life or anything. I feel he got involved with people around him that, that were um, I can't imagine why they would want to do that to Nicola um, there could have been a triangle um, a love triangle here there could have been um I, I, I just feel that this this energy at Marsh Farm and Emma and possibly her husband involved here, but it's just like, in a way, I'm not spec even speculating, it's just energy, intuitive energies that I pull in here. And I don't feel that, that he's totally innocent. I don't feel that Paul is totally innocent. And I'm sorry that you, you can't hear him, but you must have seen this interview so many times. Um, you could really off, off, off by heart. But um, even the dog, you know, even the dog, to say Nicola and the dog sitting right next to him, or Nicola, and the dog sitting right next to him, you think the dog's ears would put perk up and, and look around and you know and that kind of thing or or sniffing or something um but there's none of there's none of that i don't sense even dogs sense that they they miss their owners but there's none of that whatsoever there's none of that the dog's loyalty it's, the dog seems so happy and sitting next to uh, Paul there, and quite secure. I, I feel that uh, the dog, uh, at the time, the dog knew the pet people around. I don't feel that she fell in the river. If she'd have fell in the river, the dog would have been panicking, would have, you know, its, uh, its owner has, has gone into the river. Um, the dog would have been panicking and uh, even maybe jumped in the river after its owner uh, or, you know, being wet or something like that. But the, there was none of that. There's none of that. It's like I get this energy that the dog, Willow, knew, actually knew um, the people that, that were actually doing this. They were very, uh, the dog was very familiar with uh, what was happening here. So hi everyone, thank you for coming uh, to the live show. Thank you uh, also members, thank you for coming. Uh, so let's have a look at your comments here. Alan Girl, uh, ICC Kevin Kevin Arnett um, and the Ang uh, Anglican Church. Elizabeth was on that list also, but dodged the bullet. Okay, this interview seemed so staged, Yvonne. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't understand his his thoughts on on why he wanted to sit there and and have this interview with the BBC. I again, I get this link with Ed. You know, his father was uh, worked for the BBC for years. 
and uh, this was arranged by Emma and Ed. Um, all this link with the BBC, you know, and um, and I do feel that uh, this was seemed to be intertwined with this. Um, I feel this this interview was at, at, at Marsh Farm at, at Emma's house. Um, Again, the cameras, you know, it's like, you know, oh, we're used to this because we're used to this. You know, you my, my father was uh, worked for the BBC and we're so used to this. So you're welcome to come here. We don't mind the cameras. We understand. We feel comfortable with this. Um, so there's all these kind of energies around this. It's like we know, we know the BBC, we're, you know, we it's like they have this uh, energy of of knowing uh, the BBC and um, Ed and Emma being involved with this. I I, I just I do pick up on some kind of triangulation um, going on. And Emma's husband away a lot of the time. Also, Ed being attracted to Nicola. Um, so there was like this triangulation. Like it, it was like uh, Paul was uh, the partner of, of Nicola, and also Ed was attracted to Nicola and uh, was jealous of Paul and. And also um, Emma was like pushed to the side here because they were all vying um, and, you know, all of this going on. So I do pick that up. I also pick up that somebody got drunk here. I feel that was Nicola. She got drunk. I feel that she actually intuitively, I feel that she passed before the, the date that she was, uh, went missing. You see, you see, this is, this is it. You see, Paul would have known about that. Paul would have known that she had gone missing. Uh, she, she wasn't there. Um, so there is some involvement here anyway that, that's my energy I was going to play that but for some reason my computer picks up the audio and sometimes it doesn't okay and you get you get that energy too uh, Lisa I get that energy too Yvonne familiarity yeah um, yeah so um, this this is what I pick up with this. Um, for some reason, it either this energy that I'm picking up here is that he's innocent, but he's not innocent if he's if he knows something's been going on here. Um, and also, what what was her, her body being dumped in the river a mile from where where she, you know where where she went missing? Uh, what was it, two weeks afterwards? Um, I find that a bit strange. Uh, you know, they scoured that. This is what I can't put my finger on. They scoured that river. Uh, they had sniffer dogs. So, you know, you say that, oh, well, she, was, she wasn't in the river. She was in the reeves. But even if she was in the reeves, you know, those sniffer dogs would have, um, you know, that they, they have such a powerful... Uh, you know, they, they, they sense and uh, smell uh, corpses underwater, uh, you know, and, and, and they would have sensed that. They would have sensed a corpse in the reeds. Um, but, you know, I can't see those dogs actually missing that. Um, on, the, on the river, you know, the river's edge, I can't see that those dogs... Uh, would have missed that um, and then in the water so if she didn't drown and she was found on, on the on the side of the river there, the reeves 
And then what happened to her? They extensively searched that river. Um, so I, I'll just pull out some cards here with the energies. He, he knows that some, something has gone off here. I'm, I'm kind of picking up on this edge and Emma. And I just got, he just wants to restore the, restore the harmony and the peace again. But this is all on hold, it's all on hold, you know, this peace of, of, of knowing what's happened is... So I don't feel that he fully understands what's happened to uh, Nicola. Um, I, I actually feel this, is a, this this was a decoy. They did use that phone. My intuitive energies are saying that they used the phone as a decoy. Uh, they switched it on on a Teams meeting to make it look as if she was on a Teams meeting. Uh, but I feel there was, I do feel there was a third party involvement here. I'm, I'm getting Marsh Farm and I am getting, um, is, it needs to be investigated further. Um, I don't feel that she she went into that river willingly at all. So let's have a look at your comments here. No, I don't feel she was in the river either, less. Um, Yeah, I, I, I actually, what I pick up is, with all of this, is um, it's Emma and uh, this Marsh Farm, and I'm not point, pointing the finger, but the energies that are around Marsh Farm, uh, what their motives were, or why they did this, or I don't know. Um, I mean, this is just hearsay, it's speculation, it's energies, uh, it's intuitive energies. But in my in my uh, gut feeling and my intuitive perception here, I feel that that um, Paul that there was some kind of triangulation going on. Paul here is to blame to a certain extent for for helping to create this. Uh, but I don't feel, I feel that he's got, he's realised he's got involved with something here and been dragged into something with uh, this circle of friends, all these these people um, that are a little bit dodgy, uh, that are a little bit psycho. Um, and, and I feel this this realisation, but it's like it's disbelief. It's like... Well, hang on a minute. Why would they be wanting to help? Why would they want to uh, film this at, at their house? And why would they be pulling out the stops here to to help? Um, um, yeah, this 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 uh, there's a there's a gap here. This gap that says that. Uh, he feels like he knows, but he, he's trying to 
he's frightened because he, he feels like he he will be he will be pulled into this now I feel it, it is transpired that uh, they dumped her in the river what was it her two weeks afterwards uh, dumped her in the river a mile from where she went missing um, or dumped her in that area if if the autopsy comes back saying that you know she she wasn't uh, in the water for whatever that comes back there's got there's got to be some answers here um their marriage was on the rocks too i feel no their relationship sorry not their marriage their relationship was a little bit rocky too they were going through uh some uh, ups and downs um he thought she'd just got off to chill and and you know the like the cobwebs blow um and and didn't realize when i think she'd gone for longer than what what he's saying for some reason I'm actually getting that that she had gone for longer than what what he's actually saying. So um, that's what I'm getting here with Paul. I don't feel I don't feel he's a perpetrator, but I feel he's involved here. There's an involvement here. There's an involvement, and he knows that she would not go off and end her own life. Um, I'm going to end it there, okay, guys. This is just a, a few of us for a uh, live show this evening. So uh, I just thought I'd pop on and have a look at uh, Paul because I did that Chris Watson and like um, a similar story, you know, and he uh, denied it right up until the end, you know, and then he confessed. I think he knows something. I do. I feel he knows something, but I don't feel that he did anything here. I think he he realizes he shouldn't have got involved with uh, those people. You know, I think he realizes he shouldn't have got involved with um, with Ed and um, befriended them. I think he they they befriended this Ed and Emma and, and everything's gone wrong since then, you know. So that that's what I get with him. Yeah, I, I feel that he um, he is worried that, that actually that they uh, they got involved with something here, maybe a swingers group, uh, maybe uh, there was an attraction, um, uh, maybe uh, he was having an affair uh, with lonely Emma, who was uh, at that house most of the time on her own. Maybe um, he, you know, uh, Ed was attracted to Nicola. Maybe Ed was a, bit, a little bit unhinged, who knows? Maybe he was, you know, a lot, a lot of people said, you know, on that, um, on on the on the chat the other night that he he actually, when I got his images up of Ed, actually, he, you know, he he he, he looks a little bit, uh, a little bit dark. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you for coming to the live show, and um, I'm going to say bye for now, and uh, I will see you. Uh, soon okay I'll try and get a content up as much as I can um, uh, because I'm back working next week so I'll try and get as much content as I can okay um, I'm going to take this to members membership okay uh, this uh, and look at look at uh, what you know what I'm not saying here I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at our memberships and take it a bit deeper but this is the energies I'm getting for Paul that is thinking that 
Yeah, I think some kind of drinks or something went wrong here. And Ed, I'm picking up Ed, this Ed. What was he? Was he visiting? Was he around then? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. And uh, it is Intuitive Energy Show. And it is, uh, it's not facts. And it's just to be seen as like hearsay. And, and bye for now. Bye-bye, everyone.